It is widely acknowledged that through volunteering, young people will develop skills for learning, skills for life, and skills for work. Skills that will be of real value as they grow up and get ready for work and life in the 21st century. It is a fact that volunteers make a highly valuable contribution to the local and national economies. The benefits of volunteering are plentiful, with both donors and recipients reaping real and tangible benefits. For this reason, in learning and leisure services, we have taken the radical step of explicitly articulating in raising achievement for all three, the latest phase of our overarching educational policy, the critical role that volunteering will play in the educational experience of all our young people. In recent times within North Lanarkshire Council, there has been a growing recognition of the need for and importance of projects, activities and programmes that bring people from across the age spectrum together to work for their mutual benefits. This work can be labelled intergenerational or generations working together or alternatively it can be seen as an effective way of creating harmonious, safe, cohesive and happy communities. In January 2009, six secondary schools, one from each locality, were invited to embark on intergenerational projects. Teaching staff and homeschool partnership officers worked in partnership with housing and social work locality link officers to develop a framework for the delivery of intergenerational volunteering. Around 100 young people from S3 to S6 worked with a similar number of older people on learning projects agreed by the learners. Projects including fashion, outdoor learning, Japanese arts, Scotland and Rwanda's contrasting cultures and the establishing of an intergenerational lunch club were used to encourage positive interaction and break down generational barriers. A celebration of generations working together took place in September 2009 to coincide with the United Nations International Older People's Day. Staff and learners, young and old, came together in Cardinal Newman High School to participate in a variety of pupil and staff-led workshops, and a highlight of the event was a celebratory lunch prepared by S4 pupils from Cardinal Newman and served in Snapdragon, the school's widely renowned training restaurant. Uniting young people and older people is a win-win situation, which will continue to develop across our schools. So let's hear from some of the people involved. An intergenerational volunteering event with six different schools and older people. I was uh, teaching Matsuri dance. I think there was also a project going on between an African country and Scotland where they went to visit it. There was a story about shoes workshop and a Japanese art one. I took part in the Rwanda discussion, I found that very interesting. Uh, I did the uh, Japanese uh, art painting, I found it very interesting. I was invited to take it home. And it's great to get to know the young ones and it gives them a chance to relate to the older people, like grand and grandfather's age, and just talk with them. And it, it, it gives them, a, gives them a, a bit closer, I feel. A few months ago, we took a couple of pupils and quite a lot of older people to the old library in Clyde and we did something similar to what we were doing today and we had some people from Universal Comedy and we had storytelling, comedians um, and it was just a really nice day where the older people and younger people could get together. I think the best thing was that people really got talking to each other and um, we were able to learn from each other and older people were able to tell of their experience and we were able to ask questions which was really great and just kind of get to understand that they're real people and they've gone through stuff that we've gone through and they're not all that different from us at all. Ah.